I'm going to show you how to convert metric length. And the units of the metric system are grouped in tens, hundreds, and thousands. And it's much easier to convert different metric units than U.S. customary units. Uh, U.S. customary units have weird numbers like 8, 16, and 32, and 64 ounces and stuff like that, and 12 for a foot. And Oh, this is so much easier. Look at this. It's all based on ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And the most important thing to remember is the order of these names. The meter is in the middle. That's what everything is based off of, is the meter. When we go smaller, we go decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. When we go larger, we go decameter, hectometer, kilometer. When you want to convert to larger units, you move the decimal point to the left. Larger starts with an L, and so does left. And, just remember, you go to the left, makes an L, all right? When you want to convert to smaller units, you move the decimal point to the right. And what you're doing when you're going larger is you're multiplying by 10 to get to the next larger unit. When you're going smaller, you're dividing by 10 to go to the next smaller unit, okay? So a centimeter is one one-hundredth of a meter. And the prefix centi means a factor of one-hundredth. See the TH? It's a fraction. And there's a hundred centimeters in just one meter. Think of the word century. It's got a hundred years, doesn't it? A decimeter is one-tenth of a meter. And the prefix deci means a factor of one-tenth. See the TH? And there's ten decimeters in just one meter. A millimeter is one-thousandth of a meter. And the prefix milli means a factor of one-thousandth. See the TH? There's one-thousand millimeters in just one meter. Now, when we go larger, a hectometer is 100 meters. And the prefix hecto means a factor of 100. See, there's no TH now. We're going bigger. And there's 100 meters in just one little hectometer. A decameter, notice that it's got a K and an A. That's 10 meters, where the deci had a C and an I, and it was one-tenth. All right? So a decameter is 10 meters. And the prefix deca means a factor of 10. And there's 10 meters in one decameter. A kilometer is 1,000 meters. We measure distance with this. So you could say, I went 5 kilometers to my friend's house. That means you went 5,000 meters. And the prefix kilo means a factor of 1,000. See, there's no TH, so it's not a fraction. It's times a thousand. So there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. Now we can convert these. So I use the number three to give you an idea. If we have three decimeters, then we have three tenths of a meter, 0.3, because that's the tenths place on that side of the decimal point, isn't it? Three centimeters, well that's three one hundredths of a meter, and this is the hundredths place for the decimal, isn't it? So it's 0.03. Three millimeters, well, that's three one-thousandths of a meter. So here's the thousandths place for a decimal, 0 0.003. Now when we go larger, three decameters is 30 meters because one decameter is 10, so three is 30. See? It's a ratio. Three hectometers is 300 meters because one hectometer is 100 meters, so three would be 300, wouldn't it? Three kilometers is 3,000 meters because one kilometer is 1,000 meters. Three kilometers would be 3,000 meters. That makes sense, right? All right, so let's take a look over here. We're going to do a little bit more conversion. So when we want to go smaller, our decimal point goes to the right. So centimeters are bigger than millimeters. So if we want to go from 24 centimeters to a smaller millimeter, we're going to go right with our decimal point, one place. Now, what's really going to help us when we're doing this are two things, okay? The first thing is knowing the order of these, knowing that the centimeter is just larger than the millimeter. That's going to help us because we know it's going to be one hop. And knowing that the decimeter is two hops away from the millimeter is going to help us. And with these, we need to know where they're situated in comparison to the meter.
okay? The other thing that's going to really, really help us is if you don't see a decimal point, well, then it's on the right of the farthest right digit. If you don't see a decimal point, we just assume it's back here, okay? And then we move it from there, all right? So if we have 24 centimeters and we want to move it to a smaller unit, the next unit smaller is millimeters, we're going to move our decimal point one place to the right. And that creates an empty space, and we put a zero there as a placeholder. That's what they're good for, aren't they? And if we have 15 centimeters, we're going to move it one place to the right, and we're going to put our zero there for the placeholder. If we have 135 centimeters, we're going to move it one place to the right and get 1,350 millimeters. If we want to go from 24 decimeters to millimeters, well, that's two hops away because we have centimeters in between them, don't we? It goes decimeter, centimeter, then millimeter on that list. So we have to go two hops away. This would have been the centimeter spot, but we're trying to go to uh, millimeters. So we need to hop twice. So we take our invisible decimal point that's right here on the side of the four, and we go two hops over and put two zeros in as placeholders. See? Same thing with the 15. We go two hops over, put in two zeros as placeholders. We get 1,500 millimeters. If you see 135 decimeters, well, we're going to go over two hops and put in the two zeros, and we're going to have 13,500 millimeters. Now, what if the decimal point is in the front and we need to move to a smaller unit? Well, we just move it over that one hop to the right. Now we've got 2.4 or 1.5, and here it would be 1.35. We just hop it over one time, okay? We want to go larger, we go to the left. Remember, larger left. So we don't see a decimal point, so we assume it's back here behind this four. So we're going to go left, and we're going to meters. And we know on the list from centimeter to meter, how far away is it from meters? Here's centimeters, and here's meters. So we got decimeters in between, so we got to hop once, twice, okay? So we're going to hop two times. We're going to hop from back here, one, two, and it's going to go in front of the two. So we have 0.24 meters. And that makes sense because these are a hundredth of a meter, so it would be 24 hundredths. And this would be 15 hundredths. And if we move it two times for this 135 centimeters, it's going to go in between the one and the three. See, so we have 1.35 meters. And that makes sense, too, because 100 centimeters is one meter, right? So if we took away the 100, then we'd just have 35 centimeters left, wouldn't we? And we'd have one meter and 35 centimeters. And that's exactly what that is. That worked, didn't it? If we're going from 24 decimeters to 2.4 meters, we're just moving that decimal place one point because the decimeters are right next to the meters on the list. If you look, the decimeters are right next to the meters, so that's just one hop, see? Millimeters would be one, two, three hops, see? So it's really, really important to memorize where these are located on the list, all right? It's just as important as knowing the ones, tens, thousands place in our counting system, all right? If we have 24 millimeters and we want to go larger to meters, we're going to go one, two, three hops and put a zero as a placeholder and then put our decimal point in front. See? So we have 0 0.024, which is 24 thousandths of a meter, isn't it? If we have 15, it's going to be a 0 0.015 for 15 thousandths. We're going to move it over three hops because the millimeters are three hops away from meters on the list. If we have 135 millimeters, well, that's going to give us three hops, and it's going to be 135 thousandths of a meter, all right? That would be written like this, 135 over 1,000. Pardon my handwriting. I have a bad arm. So it would be 135 over 1,000, okay? That's how that would be written as a fraction, okay? Let me just move that decimal point, the three hops over. But just remember... Sometimes there's a hidden decimal point that is really just behind the number. We're going to use zeros to fill in empty spaces as placeholders, okay? But most importantly, remember the order of these 
it's just as important as knowing the place values in our counting system. You want to know where they're at. That way you know how many hops to do. All right? Okay. So I hope this helped you out. And I will see you next time. I'm going to put links in this description to other metric videos for third, fourth, and fifth grade. Okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.